level 283. The Play Place Level 283 is a giant complex of interior playgrounds that was discovered by the BNTG on December 14, 2016. BDG Caravan Group Golden Decree was traveling across level 10 when they came into contact with a strange square plane of blue wheat, which was the first entrance to use to get to level 283 by the MEG and the BNTG. Survival difficulty, class 3, unsafe, unsecure, low entity count. Description Level 283 is made up of various types of interior playgrounds conjoined into one mega structure. The environment at level 283 can either be a labyrinth of claustrophobically small winding tubes and rubber padded chain length halls, giant castle structures that stretch towards the height of 50 feet tall, or seemingly endless ball pits with an unknown limit to their depth. Resources found in level 283 mostly include beverages and food found in the lounges. Entities such as hounds, smilers, skin stealers, wretches, clumps, and both child and adult facelings are found within level 283. Faceling behavior in this level is quite unusual and is worth noting. Child facelings will be their usual murderous and mischievous selves unless they are in the presence of an adult facelink, in which case they'll change behavior and attempt to be polite towards wanderers. Adult facelinks will usually be within pockets of level 283, sitting in booth chairs over tables. These areas are known as lounges. Although, rarely, some adult facelinks have been seen wandering through the mazes and fortresses. When a child facing is physically attacked by a wanderer or entity, then any adult facing within range will begin to protect the child facing and act hostile towards the attacker. Level 283 is home to its own share of entities, known as the Carnies. Like the name implies, these entities take the form of clowns with extremely exaggerated features. Evidence shows that carnies take on multiple kinds of physical as well as mental aspects, thus carnies being divided into subcategories was necessary. The Tubes There are multiple tubes within level 283, and their entrances are usually round circular entrances that wanderers can crawl through. Entrance tubes are usually found in the fortress and the lounges. These tubes range from 3 feet in diameter across to 5 feet in diameter across and can often lead to intersections where tubes meet or climbing segments that lead wanderers in vertical directions. The windows within these tubes are completely whited out and glowing, providing natural light within the tubes. As of now, there are no sightings of window entities, although there are rumored to exist in level 283. Exits from the tubes take the form of long tube slides that go in a twisting circular motion that can lead to the lounges, the labyrinth, or the pits. Although entity count is few in level 283, escape may prove challenging when traversing the tubes due to their tight sizes. Smilers are the most common within this region in level 283 due to the fact that they are stretches of tubes without natural light. The Pits The Pits are vast, seemingly endless ball pits that go on seemingly infinitely. Inside the section of level 283, a fog is present that limits the visibility of any wanderer that enters the pits, and can be seen off into the distance approximately 50 feet away from the wanderer. With special equipment found in other levels, one can theoretically travel this region. However, the balls act like quicksand. The more you move around, the more you sink into the pit. Once an individual reaches a certain point, the weight of the balls on top of them becomes too great, and the weight crushes the victim underneath. Clumps are the only documented entity in this portion of level 283. Caution is advised. Exits of the pits are 
as of now unknown. But if you find an entrance, it is advised that you go back the way you came from as the slides exiting the tube can be crawled back up with effort. The lounges. The lounges are the most hospitable regions level 283 due to the fact that outdoor facings provide a moderate amount of protection and the resources can be found in the lounges are plentiful. Benches and booth chairs and booth chair tables can be found in the lounges. Each bench and booth chair table has a stack of hamburgers with labeled wrappings that identify the type of burger they are. Piles of fries can be found in the center of some of the tables stacked on top of plates, and some of the fry piles have hot melted cheese with bacon bits on them. Drink fountains can be found in the lounges along with styrofoam cups and bowls. Both fries and burger piles were replenished once the line of sight with the pile has been broken. Adult facings can be found sitting at some of the boot chairs and benches. Entrances and exits to the lounges are linked to the tubes, the labyrinths, and the fortresses. One lounge leads to the best party in all the back rooms. BNTG Resource Extraction Cat White Castle is located within one of the lounges and is guarded by both adult facelings and armed guards. The primary job of this camp is to bring caravans, french fries, and burgers to other BNTG bases, camps, and allied bases within range. This camp extends into the labyrinths where the living quarters are located in. Labyrinths The labyrinths are rubber coated chain linked fence mazes with edges padding in colorful foam. Within these labyrinths, wanderers can find multiple types of children's playground assets, such as teeter tellers, swings, merry-go-rounds, hopscotch boards, small slides, monkey bars, and swing sets. Some of the walls in the labyrinths are made of solid plastic and decorated in goofy, strange architecture. The solid plastic walls of the labyrinths have comically proportioned doors and windows. As stated in the section discussing the tubes, Windows entities haven't been reported in level 283. Labyrinths have the highest chance of carny and child facing sightings. The labyrinths can be entered through the exit slides leading out of the tubes, or strangely shaped multicolored door that leads in and out of the lounges. Fortress gates can be found within the labyrinths, which allow access to said region. In certain areas of the labyrinths, the maze stops to reveal a giant sea of colorful plastic balls that lead to the pits. Sightings of purple fizzy liquid being dumped into the porcelain clown's mouths have been found within the labyrinths. This liquid smell has the appearance of grape soda being poured into multicolored plastic tubes. The purple fizzy liquid has been documented to be dangerously acidic. The BNCG Resource Extraction Cap White Castle extends its living quarters into one of the labyrinths. One of the labyrinths of level 283 is known as the Plaza by non-hostile vocal carnies. It is the living space for all carnies in the back rooms. This area of level 283 has not been found by the MEG agents, and carnies refuse to give MEG agents information on where it is. Only telling agents or other humans that the area is where carnies are born and live. The fortresses. The fortresses are giant constructs that reach a maximum recorded height of 50 meters tall. These comically styled, multicolored, multi stored, stacked, constructed houses, multiple rooms with lighting coming from strange multicolored light bulbs. Entrances and exits to the fortresses are giant operational 20 feet by 10 feet high gates that can drop or raise via a round plastic red button on the inside of the fortress. Some fortress gates are closed on the inside, making them inaccessible. The entrances and exits of the fortresses leading lead into other regions of level 283, such as the pits, the lounges, the labyrinths, and the tubes. The exit slides that lead out of the tubes seem to be the only 
only way to access inaccessible fortresses. The MEG Base Epsilon is located within the fortress and can provide shelter, food, and all water to wanderers. This base has a confirmed exit to level zero. Bases, outposts, and communities. MEG, aka Major Explorer Group, Base Epsilon. Population of 200 explorers is located near one of the entrances to level zero, is friendly, open to trade, is located in the fortress, armed, has no route to White Castle, 3D walk through the labyrinth, BNTG, resource extraction camp, White Castle, population of 100, has no routes to base Epsilon, 3D walk through the labyrinth, armed, is friendly, open to trade, is located in the lounges. Carney Plaza is relatively hostile. See Carney's. Entrances and exits. Entrances. Finding a comically proportioned multicolored door in level 2 and opening said door to enter level 283's labyrinths. Some playground tubes in level 9 will transport you to level 283 within the tubes. Usually a way to know of level 9, if the level 9 playground 2 can teleport to level 283, is to look for white glowing windows within the tubes. Rarely, there will be blue square patches of wheat within level 10, with a clown scarecrow standing in the center. Plucking a single piece of wheat will transport the person to level 283. Entering an odd-looking multicolored small car with no backseats in level 22 will transport the driver to level 283's lounges. This exit is quite uncommon. You'd be lucky to find it. You'd be even luckier if there was a party nearby. Exits. There is an exit in the lounge that leads to a party. Come join us if you want to see double wooden doors with colorful big This is fun. No. To get to level 0. Find a bland wooden door within the fortresses that doesn't have any type of decoration. The smell of mold should come off the door. To get to level 57, find a painting of a sad clown in the lounge and attempts to remove the painting from the wall it's hanging from. To get to level 8, crawl through the tubes until the terrain of the tube begins to become rocky and gray instead of the colorful painted metal the tubes are usually made of. There is an uncommon chance of falling into the pits and ending up falling through the ceiling of level 4 and ending up there. No clipping through the floor in the lounges will lead to level 1.